take it away to kick the finals off. Thank you very much. Yes, it is grand final time. I'm Toby One, joined by the capitalist, and we'll take you through. Who still hasn't managed to crack his second level and is being zoned out really by one S4 trouble in the middle. Koro gonna tether himself in, but then again, S4 wants to have a crack of the funny boss still on cooldown. Oh, really low He's gonna go down. S4, Howie, he can't reach him in time, so S4 will survive. Kuro, right place, right time, and right Dota channel. The boots and the gloves so far. I'm wondering if this is going to be the early Midas for Arteezy. Oh, the rotation's coming out. The split earth misses. And Zai is hoping to be able to get Sumail. the Oh, caught. The Fissure might be able to block him enough time. They embrace Sumail, but s is waiting. One more second on that lightning bolt. Zai's already dropping low for the lightning bolt. They are climbing. s is able to get the kill over the Shrek, but it's tip for tap. With also that task guy going down, they continue to chase Owie, who goes onto his hovels to try and run back to base. He'll survive while Fear chasing up the puppy on the bottom lane. He's got traits at the movement speed on puppy with a plasma field of damage. Not enough. He realizes Shallow Grave's still available for puppy. It's not easy to find that kill. And the TP in from Zai, maybe he can shut up and hold Fear close in the tower. The Radiant Creek Wave is still in force. Middle lane, S4, stun on him. There was a fissure from PB to set up and some mail. Just makes it look easy with the lightning bolt. Two deaths on some mail, but if they can get a couple more kills on, it's just this between the two of them. So they're perfectly all right, Kuro and S4 going for this. And in fact, the extra TP support's going to come in. There's no vision from the Radiant side in this area. And in fact, they actually use Zai to refresh up both of the bottles. In fact, Zai now with a shot at some mail. They snowball in. Some mail in trouble, but not dead yet. The pulse over. Ripping through Zai's life. Kuro's keeping him alive from down in the river. And then maybe they can actually turn this. EG right behind on the S4. But fear plasma field. The damage is not enough to kill off Zeus. Kuro kept Zai alive most of the time in the shards. It Beautiful. keeps fear out. They couldn't face the situation. Down S4. He took it the high ground. 11 seconds to Thunder God's Wrath. If they can get one more Lightning Bolt into Fear, or maybe just a Whisper of Balls. Fear is critical. Can they get it off? Three seconds, two seconds. The Sal will keep Fear alive. So it will not be enough damage from S4, which Secret has already shown very well today during the semi-finals. They know how to efficiently move across the map and come up with a fair trace. Now middle lane, Lightning, follow-up stun. S4's in real trouble. The Pulse Nova, Kuro could not keep him alive. And that's just a good kill from EG. Went to Wyvern and could potentially just ice burn up, but yep, with the gold strength of Babel and the Mask of Madness, already Seeker have taken Roshan. EG coming out, the Shards cannot catch PPD out of position. In fact, Arteezy, Snowball's coming up. It's coming in from Zai. He's going up to Ash, but doesn't actually get there the whole entire way. So they embrace him up, and Zai being kept alive with Poppy as well as Goro, relocating nice him back save. into the pit, keeping him alive. And this does not give EG a position to punish Secret. In fact, they may just still go in for it. The relocate's there. They have to protect him. Raze has already popped that eye of the storm. And Arteezy just moves up to the high ground to ensure they don't come any further. Then again, Koro maybe a little bit too close. The shards in the sun. Oh, he's on the wrong side of it. But PPD is front line. It's the fissure. Koro's so low. Oh, he's there. But he can't do enough damage. And Arteezy just can't reach past the shards. They have to force off him away to safety. That's from S4. And the shard to block the ramp. No deaths from either side. Actually going to play very well into the favor of evil geniuses when it comes to team fights, but I really feel like Seeker just kind of outplaying can see PPD. Certainly. He's walking up the hill. He doesn't want to come this way. The Shah's the fissure. He gets three with a ton of stuff. He's got Echo Summer Bubble 2. Can't get enough in time. Puppy Shadow Wave will be able to get the kill. Ooh, and an early four staff being picked up by S4 does help Zai get out of position there. First to finish up his hand of bodies before he does anything else. They're losing the tier one tower and they can keep pushing. Goldstreet has not been required to be used. Now middle lane, the shards fly out. The fortifications keeping that tier one tower alive for secret. And Fear wants it, but S4 snowball in. They with the walrus punch. They're trying to find the tick off, but Fear has the mech charge. Kuro will relocate himself with Zai with a vision from DVD. holds him there. The echo slam is not enough to keep enough space between Razor as well as the secret. But Samal comes in with a pulse nova. Going for Polly, but the shadow grace making it difficult. Owie will also arrive. Samal needs to fear to jump. Finally, he will be able to do so. So it's a two-for-one trade-off. PPD lucky to survive. Meanwhile, on the north lane, Zven with a god strength is taking out the tier two tower. Yeah, it does come at a very heavy cost. Kuro, though, by the way, to see where Arteezy is coming. Just like now in the mid, jumped in, goes for universe. It was available, but the damage is just too much. Zeus will help out with Thunder God's Wrath. Now we have very quick TP in. PPD is already fairly injured. I say the Kuro's positioning of that relocate was beautiful, right?
Like he puts it aggressive, but not overly aggressive where he's in the range of the tower or potentially any of EG right away. Our team's got to get out of here. No BKB charge. PPD starts with a stop, but he blinks away just in time. They know he's in the tree line. Samal goes for the stun and hits it perfectly. Arteezy will die. Nothing can save him. God straight. Even commit the echo to slam from PPD. A little bit of overkill. That would have been. They get the big one. That would have been so impressive if he had managed to actually TP away in time. That clutch blink dagger timing. Now it looks like they're gonna fight in middle lane already. Universe leading to charge here with the egg. Zai's right on top of it. He's trying to kill him off. There's PPD with a stun. The Nova's about to crack. They're not in range to get the stun, but Universe means he can come back full life. They chase after S4. There's already two down. The Shallow Grave's there, but more surprised than S4 will not survive this. PPD Hosman with a stun for the oh. first. He gets time to get it off. It is a three and one on the sidelines at the moment. Basic attack. Somehow blinks up and gets rid of it so they can get rid of the vision at least. And then EG. But do they defend this bottom tower? Puppy, Ooh. you've got a dazzle harassing down a bottom tower. You have to do something about this. All right, they must know a little bit more than they let on. Evil Genius oh, you've actually up. cut off these heroes' bottom. Puppy already getting stunned up at the same time. Zai being controlled up by fear. Already sold 112 points of damage. Icarus dive in. Snowfall's the only thing that can protect him. While Arteezy chasing out the alley. Two hits oh, to bring no. him down. At the same time, fear. So much stolen damage. 224 points of it. He can carve apart most of the secret team. He's already managed to take two with him. And now can move over to Arteezy. No BKB. Still has the Aegis, but controlled up by the Fissure. They'll burn through him. The plaza field goes down and fear's going to be ready. Or is he? He doesn't Samael. have BKB. Wait for the sun. The Echo slams up as well. They just hit into Sven. They take away his damage. Koro. There's no real ever to save him, but he just keeps with that overcharge going. Puppy behind him. Letting off that heal. But again, another Fissure stun to slow it down. Pass the field on the edge of Sven. Koro is doing all the work he possibly possibly can to keep Arteezy alive, and it is enough. Our Arteezy has more HP than EG has mana. They simply ran out of steam. The less rag ran out of mana. PP used his last Fisher there, even fear. Dazzle for a Wisp. You're going to give him armor, and potentially yeah. with Glimmercate movement, Koro could get out. In fact, they're going to shallow grave him, and maybe, can he TP? He was thinking about it, but Nerf, uh, tether away over the creep wave, just keeps running. Koro, 22 HP. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, oh. Almost Still next though. level escape. Look to middle lane. He just bought a lot of time there where Arteez is going to get, what, two, three hits in on that tier two tower with God strength popped. That's a decent amount of chip that Kuro's just bought his team through that excellent play. They get the hell out of there now, but yeah, cool. Tier two tower, and Samael's already taken the tier two at top lane, as long as he doesn't get caught, but look what Zai's doing. Yeah, he's, he's snowballing in, started with the Glimmer Cape, support, relocate, Koro's bringing in Arteezy, but the Yosef are up, Blink Daggers off cooldown, but Samael can't get out in time, and in fact will deny himself in front of the relocating secret. Good deny. In fact, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't deny. He made an ancient stack. Oh my god. We're actually going to try and solo Roshan. Look at that damage! This is Ow. actually a relocate Roshan play, and it catches EG out of guards here. They can't even get there in time. Maybe they can clean up one or two heroes. Oh, they lost the West, which means Arteen is stuck. He blinks up. A base of Fissure of PPD, Samal goes in right now for the task of the Yosef to set up into the follow-up stun. Zaynas have Glimmer Cape as well as Chief. Snowball for protection, he needs a target to come out to. Potentially just Glimmer and Chief, and he goes down to Aoi. No cheese being used, no Glimmer, he'll just accept the fate. But mean top, meanwhile, Arteezy with the back of this double damage rune still has God Strength, and there is no... For actually, there is a fortification to save him. Koro, Shallow Grave, Samal is just chasing him down. Now the Yule Scepter, Koro refuses to die, now he will back into all middle lane, Arteezy a long way down, nice the four star down. from Espel, will bring him up with some mail, turns on the pulse over, Arteezy turns for the sun, he's got two locks here, where's oh. he clean, Universe one more swing, can't get it off, he's in trouble, moving over towards fear, because Universe was put under, the Angus C1 will trigger him, there's no help coming to Arteezy, they burn him with a sun ray, and this is not a tan he asked for, he's gonna go down, evil geniuses defending Seeker as they aggressively push into their tier 2 tower, the Scythe of Mice would be a little bit better if maybe he had a Blink Dagger. And Sandil has got the Four Staff, right? So he doesn't have that full Blink in instant stun. Oh, they're coming. Smoke. Where's the jump? S4 sitting on the back line. So they got gives him the vision. PPD. One hit from Arteezy with a Stormball combo. They move over to Fear. And Static Link. Well, it is currently on Arteezy. Oh, 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 o
off, but then again, you start to lose Tifa. And uh, yeah, she's talking about Tifa. She just stopped from the chair. Maybe you'll be there. It's a mail up in the air. It's more of the side of the chasing puppy into the tier two tower with a pulse over puppy. Shall I break will protect him and they will dive up for him. Puppy, it isn't going to last forever. Now he'll go down. Four loss from Secret. EG only losing their captain, who was the first casualty of that fight. And they even cursed up the melee creep so it can keep pushing. But the most likely option, in my opinion, would be Abyss of Light. I think he does need that extra lockdown. It'd be huge damage increase. I'm down for that. Bottom lane, Puppy trying to run out of here. He goes into the tree line. Can Shallow Grave and TP out? The sun's already gone. Maybe you can give it a shot. No, nope. the damage, the no. damage, the fissure is there. That's what they require. The secondary stun to take Roche on that fast. The moment they beat TP up to the top lane, all they have to do is back Samael, far enough away. Well, Samael blinking in, gonna go for the full off on Koro, but actually getting interrupted by this four. Koro will be able to glue to keep himself away to safety. Yeah, very nice lightning bolt to be able to intercept that long animation, the split earth stun. And secret, this is their best opportunity when the walk in the pickoff. Some man already used the stun. You'll set the rock. Blink dagger one second. Now he comes down. The stun to the damage from Arteezy. Some man can take through a lot. The fissure can't buy the space. 30 seconds on the sideline of PPD. He blocks you. He falls up and blink dagger up to try and get close enough for this echo slam damage. No follow up stun. He's down for the count. 60 seconds, but more importantly, that Aldi's down for two minutes. But look down the bottom lane. The Great Wave is coming in towards the tier 3 tower. Then no Arteezy is not going to be walking around with with immortality. Buybacks are going to be pretty pretty critical here. On the Radiant side, we only have Razor and the Lash Rack who have buyback. The rest are actually just a yeah. little bit separate. He's up so far. Zai's coming in with the Grim Attack. They're trying to kill our puppy. And they are going to isolate him at the same time. Zai not makes it easy. They snowball in. TPD. Echo Slam is available. And maybe he can survive. No, he can't TP out in time. They're plus two. The no is coming in. Some mail. Needs oh, more than a crazy. Actually locked up by only 2,000. Now Zai will trigger off the cheese. They have down. Well, can dazzle on that ball. He doesn't want to buy back. He's in the line. He's still locked in. And then Storm Ball. They get the control. The Snowball is chasing up the flying rat, but it's not going to be enough. All Kia battling up against the rest of Secret. The Snowball up. Kia gets rid of the sigils and can freely move for the shot. He's trying to lock in. Now comes back in again with Universe Story. Howie on the front line. The Shiva's got by space and fear. Actually, that's time. He's draining the damage. 168 points. That's easy. Locked inside the, the Snowball. He's holding him in, but where's the stun? They go to fear some mail. Boss Nova's eye is going to go down. He's so low. The Glimmer came. They see him with the Sentry Ward. They've got him down. S4 trying to push in the middle lane. In the meantime, and Arteezy adding pressure on top. They do not want EG to push. Some mail coming in big. There, that was AUI 2000. The to be PC, able to there's a level 2 coming in. That's some mail on the back of Universe setting up for S4. If they can get this pick off, it's a huge window opportunity. And they're going to be the denial through the Bloodstone, but that's still 43 seconds that Zeus is on the sidelines. Which it seems like that's the play here. This is very risky, though, because they don't have any buyback. Secret actually have all of theirs, and they should kind of know with the way that Secret... Mail. There it is. Blood dagger, side to side there. Puppy, dead on the stun, pulse Nova. They come through the dazzle. He still has buyback. All of Secret have buyback. But it looks like EG are ready to push down the bottom lane. Hammers, Secret, and then just five man down middle, potentially take a full lane of racks. Here they come, fortification triggered. They'll protect the racks with a fidget on S4. Full off some by some mail, not going to work. There was the four star for the safety by S4. And with Glimmer Cape, he can move back to the front lane. Spear already on those front lines. He's punch, punched around by the wall, response from Howie. Everyone embraced him up, so fear locked in, controlled. Here, can he get back out? Maybe not. There's all the Martins. He can't actually do anything. He's down. Under 20 seconds on the sideline, but the bike can bring him back up in time. But then fear, he's still just standing on the front lines doing the work. Puppy, now he'll drop as a triple buyback, a quad buyback, in fact, from Secret. Universe trying to give this life back, and then will blink himself away to safety. They actually get out after taking out the melee racks with mass amounts of buybacks by Secret. It's in fight. And he's in fight. Zai with the shot as they found fear. Snowball's coming in. Maybe he can get the walrus punch up, but Howie still waiting there. Embraced up fear. They haven't got the kill. And back Zai being isolated. The double stun to S4. He can't touch up with the damage. And fear force up, up the shots. Can't lock him in. Secret, they can't find the opening. In fact, the mail wants to slow him up. They dive in with the Icarus. In the Shivas as well. S4 too slow. And with assault, we're going to lose the Zeus. S4's down for the count. He has buyback available, or he can wait the one minute while well, Universe wants to go for more. The Nova is up and running, but maybe. Maybe they can just five-man force it down mid. They got the numbers. 
Evil genius. That's a big if. Force the buyback and then back away to Roshan. Maybe the best play. But there it Secret is. are going to be able to get this fight. It looks like they your eye shot. initiation. Fia still on the front line. There's just Storm Bob. Fia down a half line. They got a lightning bolt. Fia have to be embraced up pretty early here. Boris punch on Samal, they're very low on the calls, Samal backing up, remember, this buyback is not available him for another minute, so they can pick him off, they have a big opening, the Lightning to try and slow him down if possible, I shot him off, all that, try and lock him in, they found now he's a big one, crammed down, 1400 of the damage, and then an isolated Nova, they can't get rid of this Phoenix, and they're going to, down for the count, double kill for RT, Samal locked the able to TP out in line, TP as well, the shot is in the snow, he actually got him on the clip, how did he find him? Well, I can help that out answer that question. It's a triple kill for Arteezy. Great from the mud column from the low ground to get the kill on the high ground. Here we go again. Poppy starts with a weave. At least going to drop down some mail as well. Spears armor. The ice shards come in. And with Zai, well, he wants a snowball. It's more of a fear thing. Right on him. And then they embrace him up. Some mail still here on the front lines. After coming a little bit closer, as Fear is still the only sole tank, but they get rid of the melee racks, but Fear isolated by the shot, has to be forced off the win, out comes Artini, on a Samael, he brought him down, 25 seconds on the sideline, wants to fight more, Blink, they can still on call down, the shards come up, they get the vision of PPD, but this time, they will not be able to start him before the TP is completed, the Whistler strike down for 35 seconds, they're making a beeline for immortality, and that's Roshan. The smoke down the mid, they're trying to do this sneaky beaky light, and then just rip apart the EG bait, fortification is available, for EG, however, is not available for Secret. Can RTZ make this game? Where's the jump? Owie, he's four stopped up! Actually, he four stopped himself and then blinked away, revealed it, and PPD in for the double stun. Fear also the front lines, RTZ blinked away after going for the storm bolt. He does not want to be part of this, but Unifer might make him part of it. Shiva's guard down and trigger the storm bolt, protecting RTZ for the moment. Where they want to go to? They're facing up the universe. Can they kill him? No, they actually just use him to delay the blink daggers away. Seeker desperately trying to disengage. Zai with a blink dagger in five seconds of time. He's running away. EG, can they find him? Right, yeah, they can. How he's on the back. Now Zai, storm bolt's also available. He can buy himself some time, and there it is again. It's all about wasting time while Samael is chasing down after Puppy. They will lose Zion River, and Puppy will go down to Samael. Two down for Secret. EG, open up the window again. Opportunity is knocking. Two rats down, two heroes down. Team Secret are going to be forced into double buybacks here. Portal on S4. The fresh Lincoln Sphere over on Arteezy. Means that he's also got space to move. And they just saw PPD plant down the aggressive ward. They'll get rid of this as quickly as they can. They do not want to have EG having any kind of superiority with Vision. The mail drops by Half-Life. The Storm Bomb stopping PPD from getting that Fissure off as well. Arteezy got to be careful. Hands up. But then again, Zai tossing his mail up. And the Norma perfect position on EG. They can't get rid of this. They'll have to take the Storm the sun will be in the trap by the space from Universe Secret. There is the buyback from Artesi, but Puppy is quite outside the base. The Telegram can't do enough. As for maybe the Chief can keep Puppy alive a little bit longer. And Fear low. But then again, ETZ can't reach Fear. And Brace up again. He's trying to reach him. One hit. He can't even do that. They have to come back inside the base. As for the jump in by Samal. Where's the damage? There it is from Artesi. The sun will be there. But then again, Samal. The buyback. They're using economy to win this game, Universe. That's what Samal will be onto. Directly on the hero. As for back up to the tier 4 towers, Koro the save, he's keeping S4 alive, the storm ball as well, they drop him in deeper, the top rack still on, relocate up, they keep pulling him in closer, towards the fight, buyback is still about to mess with him, stranded, possibly dead, Koro still there, but he's dropping quickly, but it's too much damage, EG, they look like they're taking another right, GG, EG will take it, 65 minutes, and an epic battle, they take game one of the best of five in the grand final. This is exactly the way this best of five is supposed to be worked. Evil Genius is throwing hero after hero in an all-in play at top to finish out this game. And there was just nothing Secret could do with this kind of draft. They fought so hard, but unfortunately, when pushed this late, Evil Genius' draft man...